It's called murmuration, and we're going to talk about it in just a second. But but for those who may not know what the uh, Jones Center is all about, just briefly describe what you all do every day. Sure. Well, so the Jones Center is located in downtown Springdale, and we're really, you know, at a, at our core, a community center for everyone. Um, but we do that in a lot of different ways. We do that in recreation programs. We do that in arts and culture programs. And actually, we even do that in science and technology programs as well. But, you know, our, our classic um, kind of motto is, we're a place where everyone can learn, play, and thrive together. Um, and, and there's a little something for everybody here. Do you, how do you, is it a membership thing? Can you just show up? How does that work? Yeah, so we do a lot. We do have a membership program. Um, by becoming a member, you get access to our fitness facilities, our recreation facilities, and then you get a lot of perks and discounts on our programs as well. A 20% discount on um, activity registrations, classes, and performances. So talk about murmuration. Um, there is a video on your website. How can you describe what folks are going to see those two nights? Yeah, this, you know, what's so special about this um, particular performance is that there's only one place this can happen in Northwest Arkansas, and that's on our ice rink. So this company, Les Petits Libre, they are based out of Montreal, um, Canada, and they have really kind of merged two worlds. They have merged the world of figure skating and ice skating with the world of of dance, contemporary dance and like world renowned dance companies. Um, so this isn't your typical ice show. You're not going to see sequins and um, characters dancing. Um, you're going to see a really beautiful story told about uh, through beautiful contemporary ice dancing. How do you get tickets for this? Yes, you can get tickets on our website, um, thejonescenter.net. Our performances are next Friday, November 22nd, and Saturday, November 23rd. And there are two each day, so 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock. You know, it is, it, this isn't typical of the kind of things you bring in. How did this happen? Yeah, so, you know, the Jones Center is really kind of in a, a, a transformation phase of, of the organization. And we're kind of going back to the roots of what was originally intended at the Jones Center. Um, we always intended to be recreation, arts and culture, and science and technology. And so we're really focusing on bringing our arts and culture programs, our science and learning programs, kind of back up to that level of the recreation programs that we're known for. And this was such a great opportunity because it was a it was an immediate crossover, right? Like we have an established um, audience for recreation. So we are kind of Tem um, tempting them in that arts world um, by merging both recreation and arts um, in this program. Does this mean more similar to this coming in? <laughs> Ab absolutely. You know, it's no secret that the Jones Center is in the process of a really exciting expansion plan. We have 55 acres here around the Jones Center, and we have a lot of really wonderful plans um, to expand our offerings, expand our facilities, and you'll see a lot more um, happening here. And we hope, you know, that the entire region um, will see us as a destination for learning, playing, and thriving. Well, Lydia, it sounds like a fantastic show. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great time those two nights. Thank you so much. We hope y'all can make it out and join us.